Hi, this is Yoshi. Um, today, uh, I want to talk about this uh, cute little one. Um, this is Haraela Retrocala. Retrocala, I'm sorry. It's too many R's and L for me as a Japanese. <laughs> uh, we don't have R and L's. Anyways, um, <clears throat> uh, this one is actually my second trial. I killed uh, the first one. Uh, I didn't really know how to take care of it before uh, and for some reason the sauce that I took uh, I thought it could li it says live in the swamp so I thought it would just stay like a carnivorous plant under water or some sort uh, not underwater but uh, water level I mean uh, but that was wrong it's uh, epiphytic and uh, people who knows about this orchids probably laughing at me by now but anyways um, very cute little miniature bandacious or monopodio, whatever you call it. Um, yeah, it's really tiny. Uh, in my opinion, do best in uh, mounted. So it's mounted. A um, little bit of a sphagnum moss underneath. And uh, uh, it likes a um, little bit of a wetter side not dump wet but pretty wet and uh, it's uh, from Taiwan uh, elevation of uh, 1000 to 2200 so they're not warm growing that's well warm to I would say intermediate to uh, cooler side uh, orchids um, and it's supposed to be uh, mimicking a beetle Female beetle have a scent, I guess, and uh, so it's mimicking that, and then the scent, and uh, uh, attract a uh, male beetle. I don't know what specifically what kind of beetle it is, but um, so it is a fragrance, and uh, luckily that female beetle apparently smells really nice. So it's a uh, kind of it has a. a very nice um, citrusic, citratic, I guess, is that the word? Uh, fragrance to it. Uh, almost smells like uh, Phalaenopsis bellina. It really smells nice. And for this size, it smells rather strong because you can smell it um, a little bit far. Uh, you have to kind of get closer at the end but still uh, for this size it's pretty strong I think but anyways so yeah here's my palm it's really really small um, like I said it's a, a sequential bloomer uh, this one already bloomed right here but it just came on there's another one coming and I think uh, one spike can produce a few more um, this one is specifically, I bought it from seattleorchid.com. I will put the link down below, but um, um, they seem to have this uh, all the time. Um, for some reason, it seems like uh, this orchid's getting popular nowadays. I don't know why, uh, because I didn't know about this last year, and then it's all of a sudden popping up everywhere in like Facebook group and whatnot. But uh, anyways, uh, it's not really expensive. Uh, it's like a $20 and under. You can find it pretty easily nowadays. Um, so if you're looking for miniature bandacious one, this will be it. Um, and um, how I grow this after the first mistake is uh, this is not... Um, ultimate habitat that I want to make. I want to make a terrarium, but for now, uh, this is how, this this is a big mayonnaise jar, glass, preferably. I have a wire around it, so, and then go like this, and then make a kind of hanging spot. Of course, it has a hanging spot too. 
and I have a liquor. It doesn't have to be liquor bowls. Um, it's just that uh, I had it with me at that time. It could be uh, gravel or whatnot. Uh, basically, you're making um, you know, humidity tray, but inside a terrarium, something like that. Now, if you buy from Seattle Orchid, uh, it will give you a choice of a hanging glass jar, uh, if that makes sense. You know, like one of those, you can hang it and you can put the plants in it, like this tiny little one with a hole in the middle, you know. Uh, they will give you that too, so you can make a terrarium. But yeah, this is, I, I didn't order that way uh, because I didn't know better. But anyways, so I'm hanging it like this. That way it will create the humidity. It likes humidity. And so the air comes in from the top and uh, it stays happy that way uh, mounted if uh, if you mount it you have to water often but by doing this uh, that the plant is happy and then you actually water less often um, because you know the humidity keeps the moisture nice in a nice level not dumping wet so um, so it looks like this and uh, it takes a pretty good um, level of light definitely not direct sunlight definitely not like a bandacious strong light uh, I have a little uh, spotlight thingy and uh, I have a little fan in my uh, kitchen windowsill um, which looks like excuse my kitchen mess but um, like this here's a little fan and here's a spotlight there and uh, it just takes a uh, uh, light that way anyways yeah that is it it's uh, it doesn't like a hot temperature uh, luckily I live in the uh, Pacific Northwest uh, uh, zone 8b so it doesn't get too hot or too cold so it's kind of perfect for this orchid um, just like a Miltoniopsis I would say a uh, little bit more light than Miltoniopsis I would say but uh, yeah that is it um, you will f if you find it I strongly recommend this it smells really really nice and uh, it easily became my one of my uh, favorite orchid so anyways uh, you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye.